Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the channel Tech with KG. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about TV AI and the processing that goes into the TV. Is it making our picture quality better or is it making it worse? I think, you know, when it comes down to TV AI, it's a touchy subject. For a lot of people, they think it's horrible and then other people think it's absolutely great and they want to keep seeing strides. I leaned more towards the it's great thing, it keeps getting better and the TVs are really showing to be better because of it. When we look at picture quality improvements over the years, there's no doubt about it that the TVs in the past may have been a little bit brighter, but the processing carries these TVs these days, and that's why you have something like the QN90A that is better than its previous Samsung TVs because of processing. And then if you look at the Sony XR lineup, the reason why Sony has come from the ashes, so to speak, is because of the XR Bravia chip. Now, the Bravia XR chip is definitely a driving force for Sony. And like I said, if you did a poll about two years back asking what the best TV is or what the most popular TV is, I don't think you would see Sony on that lineup. In fact, for me, Sony was one of my most disappointing TV manufacturers in 2020 with things like the X900H and the X950H just feeling like it is behind. And I feel like Sony really didn't bring to nothing too great to the table in 2020 because they didn't refresh their chip lineup. It was pretty much a reprint. And you kind of are probably going to get the same sort of effect this year with the 2022 lineup, though there is some promising things ahead. But the reason why 2021 was so impressive from Sony is that Bravia XR chip. If you look at something like Sony's reality creation, for example, in the past, it wasn't as good as it is now because the database that it's pulling from is a lot stronger than it used to be. It is a lot more refined and this is the AI processing. There is a database that these chips are pulling from and it just keeps getting better. It's kind of crazy to think about that the AI deep learning that is in these processors just keeps improving from year to year. So we should get better picture quality from year to year because of that. Now on the other side of the coin, we have LG, which a lot of people have kind of said the opposite about for AI processing and that their AI picture pro mode just wasn't that impressive for a lot of people. Now I've heard some people actually praise it but it's definitely one of those modes that a lot of people just leave off and they feel like there's no reason to turn it on. Though at times you can notice some enhanced picture quality, a little better sharpening on faces, things like that, but it's not even close to the Bravia XR chip. On the flip side for Samsung, they have the Neo Quantum processor, which also uses AI deep learning. And this is getting better from year to year as well. And they have a different way of doing things. So they have their processing that's pretty much active that you can't really tweak too much that's on all the time. But they also have an intelligent mode that automatically tries to make the picture quality what they think the picture should look like for that source. And so give it a try from time to time. If you have a Samsung TV, you'll notice a ton of mixed results. So you'll notice that sometimes the AI Picture Pro will look pretty incredible. And in other circumstances, you'll notice that it looks terrible. It's blown out. The highlights just are all over the place. Things just don't look great. And so it's not all perfect at the end of the day, but the more that you use something like intelligent mode, the better it will get over time. And so if you keep using these modes over and over, essentially you should see better picture quality results, right? Mm, it's not always the case. Sometimes you are left with worse picture quality than you first started with. And which is why you can't beat professional calibration if you really, really deeply care about accuracy and picture quality and just having the colors be the best that they can be. But we are getting closer and closer to having these TVs figure things out themselves and we're going to be better for it as consumers. I strongly believe that picture processing is just going to keep improving and improving. We're going to see TVs that are going to come really close to calibrating themselves to a degree where I think most consumers will be happy with. Will it ever be 100% accurate? Probably not. But 
it is getting closer and we're starting to see Samsung even push their um, auto calibration into their TVs this year. Probably more similar to what Apple's doing with their Apple TV where you use the phone to calibrate your TV. But for those, for people that don't wanna pay for calibration or don't wanna learn about it and they just want the TV to figure it out themselves, this is where AI picture processing will improve your life in a couple of years. And I strongly believe that. I know that this is a subject that's not really covered that much and not a lot is known about what actually goes into the processing. The TV companies are a little secretive about what actually is going on with the processing. They have a lot of marketing terms that is tough to dive through and to understand. And so each company is going to treat it differently and talk about it differently. And so for that, don't read too much into the marketing terms, just know that these TVs are definitely making strides, which is why oftentimes you'll see me recommend those big three TV companies because they are trying to improve their AI picture processing. And you can definitely see from year to year, the TVs are getting better. And when you look at something like Hisense or TCL, we're not really seeing the same kind of jump. So what do you guys think in the comments below? Did you guys like this video? If so, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one.